Alright, another investigation completed. Let's see, where am I at? Master Rank 994. Man, I'm so close. Let's see if I got any new investigations unlocked. Hey, Cheese Jay, can I see the investigations real quick? Sure, take a look. Alright, thanks. Let me see. Let's see what kind of new ones I got. Oh my! Chinche, what is that? A quest. No, that is not a quest. Yes, it is. Shut up. That is not a quest. That is a death sentence straight from Satan's butthole. Why is this possible and why are you sending me to do it? Because it's funny. Is that the answer to both of my questions? Yes. You people are sick. Hello everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So, as you can see, I got a pretty crazy investigation here. As a four monster investigation. I didn't know this was possible. <laughs> I, I did a quest while I was, an uh, investigation while I was trying to get my MR up. And I unlocked, unlocked this as an investigation. And this is, looks absolutely ludicrous. And of course, being the psychopath that I am. I got to a special investigation as well, which is absolutely insane, dude. Look at this. 639,000 zenny. That's nuts. That is insane. What the heck, man? I... I'm terrified. I don't know what this is going to be like. What was... How much money did the Teostro one give me? 522. This one gives way more. And it's just four monsters. I, dude, I did not know four monster investigations was possible. That is terrifying, dude. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do this. <laughs> I don't care. But yeah, uh, I let's just jump right into it. Honestly, I'm actually gonna switch to insect leaf because uh, I want to try it out with insect leaf instead of switch axe. But yeah, this is gonna be brutal. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Four monster special investigation. Oh man. It's a pretty cool one too, by the way. It's Apex Raffle, Silver Raffle, Spheres Rajang, and Regular Rajang. I guess Afflicted Rajang, actually. But yeah, I think that's a really cool one. A double of uh, two very powerful monsters. And pretty much the strongest forms as well. So yeah, this is a very crazy in investigation. Oh man, they are probably going to hit like a truck, so I have to be extremely careful. I still can't believe four monster special investigations are possible. I literally have not seen one at all the whole time I've been doing investigations. I don't know when they became a thing or when they were added, but they definitely weren't here the whole time. There's no way. But yeah, this is insane, dude. Like. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of concerned about time, like, I don't know if I'm concerned about dying as much, but like, four monsters, a special investigation, they probably have tons of health, I don't know how long this is going to take, but I'm going to kill them all, I don't care. <laughs> oh man, come on, nice. Silver Rathalos takes a bunch of damage. Okay. Oh no. Get out of there. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Please eat the max potion. Thank you. Yeesh. Another thing. What? Oh man. Should I try and do a no restocking challenge? Because I could potentially run out of healing as well on these guys. I wonder if I should restrict myself from restocking just for the challenge. I kind of want to. <laughs> oh no. Should I make- I'm going to make this harder than it needs to be. No restocking. I can get items from the item box. And I can get items from herbs and stuff. But no restocking. Ooh. I don't know if that hit his wing or his head. But either way, that was extremely good. Um, I wonder if I should bring him to Fuse for Shang. Or if I should just throw him into the star bugs. Now nah, let's bring him to Furious Rajang and then get some damage off on him because these guys will do lots of damage to each other, I'm sure of it. Where are you? There you are, Furious Rajang. Let's mess him up. He's also got the glowy head, so he's going to do extra damage. Silver Rathalos, I mean. So that is extremely good. 
Come on, mess him up. Nice, 1100 damage. And 653. Come on. Mounted Punisher. Alright, mess him up, mess up Bushang. Oh, you missed Raffle, what the heck? <laughs> you moron. <laughs> How do you do that? Oh man, he is doing a lot of damage. Okay, he keeps tossing him all over the place though, so I keep missing. That is not ideal, but oh well. Oh man. This is terrifying, <laughs> dude. <laughs> okay, the thing is, I'm not too worried about these monsters. It's just that I need to really be conservative with my uh, healing because I. They are going to burn through it if I'm not careful. I feel like this is a pretty big regime. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, see, he, they hurt a lot. Even though there's four of them, I imagine they have reduced health. They still hit just as hard as any other special investigation. So I need to be careful. Oh, man. Oh, that didn't hit me somehow. Oh, I messed up so bad. Oh, no. I accidentally hit the wrong button. Darn it. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Give me my extracts, please. Keep messing up this machine. Oh, that hit me, really? I was hoping that would not hit me, but it did, apparently. Okay. Don't hurt me, machine. <laughs> please. Alright. So, although this Fuse Wuzhang is the harder version of Wuzhang, the actual normal Wuzhang you have to fight is going to be afflicted, so he's definitely going to be much harder. So, I definitely have to be careful of that. Oh, man. Man, that makes me wonder then, like, what... Can any monsters show up on four monster investigations? Because I... I only have afflicted Wuzhang. And I don't know what's possible. I didn't even know four monster investigations were possible, and now I have one. So, oh nice, knocked him out of his afflicted. Or well, not afflicted, but uh... Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. What just happened? <laughs> but yeah, like, what monsters are possible? Can you have, like, risen monsters? And a four monster investigation? I mean, I, I mean, you can only have one risen monster, but like... Let's say a risen monster and just... Rajang and Scorn Magnamato and Silver Rathos or something. Is that possible? Because that sounds terrifying. <laughs> oh man. And if, what is possible actually? Oh, actually, so I think the quest that gave me uh, this investigation, by the way, I did one with other people online, I believe. And I believe. The investigation that gave me this had Primordial Mausano in it, which is insane. Primordial Mausano can show up in investigations now, which is terrifying. And there can be a special investigation Primordial Mausano. Oh no. Oh man, it makes me wonder like what's the hardest possible quest that can appear in this game. Probably something like a. Uh Risen Shagu Magala, or I guess, who, I'm still unsure who I find harder between the two, Shagu Magala or Crimson Glow. Cause, cause, Cause both of them are extremely difficult, but I'm not sure which one I find harder. Uh, I guess it depends on what weapon I'm using. Because I noticed that, uh, fighting Crimson Glow Valstrax, I find them much easier with, uh, Insect Gleave, but harder with Switch Axe. And with Shagu Magala, I find him easier with Switch Axe, but much harder with Insect Glaive. So, I, I'm still unsure which one I find harder. I guess that kind of shows you that both of them are pretty balanced in terms of difficulty. Or they're pretty much on equal levels. It really depends on what you find harder. Also, that is not good. He's got a giant rock. Okay, that went further than I expected. <laughs> Oh man. Alright, uh, unfortunately the fireworks missed completely by the way, which is very annoying. Okay, but let's just say, I'm trying to like theorize on what the hardest investigation would be. So let's just say Vision Shagu Magala. 
Uh, Apex Zenoga, because Apex Zenoga is the hardest of the Apex monsters. And I feel like most people aren't very used to fighting with him. Especially since uh, we, he doesn't appear much. Most Apex monsters don't appear much at all in um, Sunbreak. Oh, I missed all those items? The heck, how would I miss that? So yeah, Apex Zenoga would be my pick for the second monster in the four monster special investigation. Then third would probably be Primordial Mausno because apparently it is possible for him to show up. And he is the final updated monster, so obviously he is kind of just objectively the hardest. And then... Who would be after that? Probably something like Crimson Glow Valstrax or Scorn Magnamelo. Then again, that one's kind of like the most uh, interchangeable between all of them. And obviously for most people it kind of just depends on what you find the hardest monster in the game. That isn't Rizion Shagru, Apex Zenoga, or um, Primordial Mausano. But I think for my pick... Hmm... Either Crimson Glow or Scorned. I'm not sure which one would be harder between the two. Oh yeah, see Apex... Uh, uh, or not Apex, but uh, Silver Rathalos is low already. So yeah, these guys definitely don't have much health, but they hit like trucks. Alright, so this guy is almost done for. Uh, just gotta keep doing some damage to him. Ooh, how did I hit that? I have no idea. But yeah, I think... I think for the fourth monster in the hardest possible special investigation would probably be, um... Scorn Magnamato. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> so yeah, these guys are pretty... They're basically glass cannons. But there's four of them, so they will burn through your healing if you're not careful. So yeah, that is my pick for what the hardest possible special investigation would be. Uh, Risen Shagru Magala, Apex Anoga, Primordial Mausano, and um, Scorn Magnamelo. Oh yeah, and look, Zhang's almost dead now too. That is extremely good. So yeah, that is what I think would be the hardest possible investigation in this game. Now, is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? I would hope so, because that would be awesome, and I want to do that for a video. <laughs> but I don't know if it's possible. I'm kind of just... saying stuff and hoping it's possible. Oh, nice! That firework knocked him out of the air. Also, Apex Rathalos has appeared, so we can go mess him up after uh, we mess up this Rajang. Come on! Nice, got him. Alright, two down, two to go. Alright, Apex Rathalos. So, I feel like this guy's really not much harder than Silver. I feel like he's most likely easier. But who knows, I'll maybe I'll eat my words. Also, I missed that uh, Diving Wyvern, that's unfortunate. And now Rashang's here, and he's the main event because he is the actual afflicted monster. So he's definitely going to be the strongest of the bunch. I have to be careful of him. But first we gotta take out Apex Rathalos. Because I want to take care of him first before we take on Rajang. We haven't caught it yet either, which is really good. So that is very good. We have all three of our cards for Apex Rathalos and Rajang. And hopefully we'll keep them all for Rajang in general. And I don't use any on uh, Apex Rathalos. Ooh, 2000 damage on the heck head. Head. <laughs> Heck yeah. Actually, so something about that discussion that I was having about the hardest special investigation. Let me know what you would think is the hardest special investigation in the game, based on what monsters you find the hardest. Because I'm very interested to see. I feel like the first three... Uh, I guess the first monster is definitely going to be one of the Risen monsters. And it's either going to be Shagru or Crimson Glow. I mean, maybe if someone finds one of the trio, Camilos, Kushala, or Teostra harder than Shagru or uh, um, Crimson Girl, I couldn't think of his name, then maybe they would ha that would replace one of them. But I feel like most people think Shagru and Crimson Glow are the hardest too. But again, I don't know. I You find whatever the hardest is for you. 
Maybe some people find Shagu easy and maybe someone finds Crimson Glow the hardest, or not Crimson Glow, Camellios the hardest. I don't know. I can't know everything. <laughs> but yeah, one of the Risen Elder Dragons would be the first option most likely. Then after that would probably be an Apex monster because most people aren't that accustomed to hunting Apexes since it's been a while. So probably an Apex. Then I feel like most people will also say Primordial because he's nuts. <laughs> Primordial is by far one of the hardest just base monsters in this game. So I think definitely he would be up there. Especially if he does all of his shenanigans where he goes through multiple phases with all the Kyrios and stuff, which I'm pretty sure he does because I remember that while I was doing that investigation with other people. So yeah, and then the last monster is kind of the one that will be changed around maybe a, quite a bit. But I'm very curious to hear what other people would think the hardest special investigation would be. Because that sounds like a very interesting topic to touch on. But let me know. Let me know what you think would be the hardest investigation in this game. And let me know if you think you could do it. <laughs> because that is definitely the ultimate challenge of for us hunters. The ultimate goal in life for any hunter is to find the an investigation that consists of the four monsters that give them the hardest time. And then they must complete it. That is what makes you a true master hunter. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you think you could pull that off or if you think it would be too much. But I definitely want to try and get some more four monster investigations after this. Because they sound... Like they are lot, lot, they seem like they're lots of fun just going uh, back to back non-stop monster mayhem. So I definitely want to see if I can try and get an investigation that consists of the monsters I uh, picked because that would be lots of fun to do for a video. Of course I have no idea how hard it would be. Oh, can you get like restrictions on four monster investigations as well? Like you can only have one cart or 30 minutes or stuff like that as well. Because that would make it so much more brutal as well. Dude. <laughs> Imagine trying to do Rijin Shagu, Apex Onoga, Primordial Mausano, and Scorn Magnamator all back to back without carting once. That would be insane. And in 30 minutes. <laughs> Dude, I like that is some kind of crazy modded quest. That's what it sounds like, but it's potentially possible in the base game. And that's terrifying. But I definitely want to find something like that because that'd be so cool to do for a video. Ow. <laughs> okay, so Apex is almost dead. I'm down to two mega potions though. Eba. So much for conserving my healing. <laughs> This is not good at all. Hopefully though, I should be able to take on Rajang pretty easily, maybe? See, if I was using Switch Axe, I'd be like, ah, Rajang's no problem. I counter all of Rajang's attacks when uh, I'm using Switch Axe, but I'm using Insect Glaive this time because that's my main. So it's probably going to be a lot more interesting with Insect Glaive. Alright, time for the main event. Afflicted Rajang. And he's already enraged because of Apex Raffle loss. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. Apex Apex monsters, if you don't know by the way, enrage every monster on the map when they enrage. So yeah, oh my <laughs> Okay, so yeah, that shows you how much damage this guy's doing. Literally literally did like more than half my health bar in one hit. And he's huge. I feel like this is a really big Rajang. What the heck? Oh man, luckily he is regular afflicted monster so he gives me a uh, blood blight whenever he hits me which is very nice for the healing. Ow! <laughs> oh man, I don't have any max potions or anything. Oh jeez, this is already really bad. This is really 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 bad. I need to like get him down or something. Get over here. Okay, water beetle as well. I need to try and heal as much as I can with Bull Blight because my healing is in a very bad spot right now. I also need to try and get him out of his enraged state. 
because he is not good at all when he's enraged. Okay, that's not what I thought he was going to do, but he did that. That was interesting. Ooh, can't, don't I have some... Uh, yes, I do. I got some honey on the way here. <laughs> so I can craft some megas. Nice. Strategic hunting. Okay. Um, Why don't I get over here? Because I don't like finding him in the hallway. Where is he going? Okay, he's going over that way. Him with the fire beetle. Yeah. Okay, be careful. Oh, I forgot he does the pinball after that. I thought that was a fierce Zhang thing, but no, Zhang also does, does that. Regular Zhang, I should say. Oh no, ow. Oh man. Okay. Thank you, iframes, because that beam would have killed me. Maybe. Ooh, oh, I got so lucky there. I didn't know he was going to get knocked out of his afflicted state. Though, so I kind of panicked. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina, no. What are you doing, Zhang? Okay, we knocked him out of his afflicted state, though, so that is extremely good. Because now he's not going to do as much damage. Okay, Shepard Heart, thank you for reducing the damage and making it so I have Blood Blight, so now I can uh, attack him and heal. What is he doing? He's yelling. I don't think he's leaving, is he? No, he's not leaving. He's just yelling. Ow. Jeez, yeah, so the afflicted monster is doing so much damage to me. This is definitely special investigation range of damage. So it's definitely, uh, his damage isn't lowered at all. I'm sure his health is, but not his damage. So these monsters are very dangerous. In fact, I want those fireworks to hit that way we can see just how much health he has. Because that would be a very good indication. Uh, 1,700. That is quite a lot. But compared to some of the other special investigation monsters we did on our journey, which we're doing around like 2k damage. That's quite a considerable amount less. So, that is very good, I guess. Uh, he's leaving, which I guess is good because my sharpness went down to white. Alright, let's get me my extracts, please. Mm. And then I want to try and use this blast toad. Oh, man. Okay. Place it down. Get out of there. Come on, hit him. Nice. 1,000 damage from Blast Toad. Yeah. Those things do a considerable amount of damage. Which is very good. Come on, hit his tail. Okay, I'll take a head hit. I will take that. That still does a lot of damage. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, just need to be careful. I don't know how much health he has. I feel like I'm doing pretty good damage to him, but... This is a special investigation, so he still probably has a lot of health. Oh, man. Okay. Let me hit your tail. Okay, I'll take a head hit. I keep hitting his head. I want to hit his tail and knock him out of his enraged state, but... Ow. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, I did not dodge in a good direction there. That was very dumb of me. Okay, he's doing that though. Now's our chance to heal. Oh, nah, he got me, darn it. I was hoping I'd have iframes, but I guess they ran out too fast. Alright, oh, are you leaving? Come on, man, I just got here. <laughs> Alright, cut back up to him. And like I said, I did not restock. I still only have one mega potion. But I did grab the first aid meds from the chest. Because those are definitely going to help. I also equipped Fortify, so I now have a 10% attack boost and 15% uh, defense boost. Which is very good. So let's hope I don't cut again. I mean, I guess it's fine if we cut again. But I don't. I would rather not cut again. Because now my money is going to be drastically reduced. Because usually I would have gone like 600,000, but now it's going to be reduced because I caught it. Which makes me sad. I want all the money. <laughs> I'm like Mr. Krabs. I need more money, money, money. Ow. I missed completely there. Uh, okay, what is he doing? I have no stamina. Ooh, thank you, Chopper Heart. Come on, Heaviston, activate. How's that? Okay, there we go. Oh, he's tired. 
So now he's Wyvern rideable, which is good. We're definitely going to bring him to the Starbucks because those do considerable amount of damage to him. Okay, knock him into that. Also, I think the trash truck is coming by my house, so sorry if you hear that in the background, but that's fine. It's got to pick up the trash, and unfortunately it's doing that while I'm recording, <laughs> but that's fine. Hey, maybe it can come take out this Vajang, because I'm about to take out the trash with him. <laughs> okay, come on. Ooh, nice, he's enraged again, but he's stuck. Ooh, nice, 1400 on the head. Ow. That hurt. Okay, be careful. My stamina is very low, so I need to be careful of it. Come on. Nice. Hit his tail. Even though I only did 520, I feel like sure it did a lot more than that. Ow, stop it. Okay, come on. Okay, missed that, that's fine, because he's doing that attack, and that attack is very scary. Come on. Surprised he's not almost dead yet. I feel like I'm doing a lot of damage to him. Okay, I'm very surprised that didn't hit me. That was extremely spooky. Come on. Nice. Oh, darn it. I hit his hand though, so it did like no damage. That's fine. That was still a cool diving wyvern hit. Oh, man. Be careful. Nice. I think that also hit his head. Maybe. Ooh, be careful. Come on, let those fireworks hit. They do so much damage. So yeah, the first three... Ow! <laughs> oh, and he dodged the uh, fireworks completely. No, that's not good or ideal. But yeah, the first three monsters definitely have, like, not much health at all. And then the afflicted monster has still a bunch of health in special investigations, four monster special investigations. So yeah, it's mostly the afflicted monster that's the main challenge. And the first three monsters are kind of chip away at your healing before you get to them. Also, that was unfortunate. Even though you can restock in this game, so it doesn't really matter. But if you're an old veteran like me, and you're stubborn and you don't want to uh, restock, then you're going to have a much harder time. But that's some I'm putting on myself, so I'm not playing the game at all. Okay. Oh man, he's starting to make some noises, which means he's going to do the big explosion soon. In fact, yep, there it is. Alright, at least he's going to calm down a little bit. Which is nice. Alright, I can't hit him, come on, I need to get the blood blight. Come on, stop dodging my attacks. Wait, heaven sent, good. Come on, ah, blood blight went away. That's unfortunate. Come on, hit him before he leaves. Nice. Alright, thunder beetle. Yeah. Hopefully we can get a stun off. Because that would be very nice. Nah, stop dodging you fast monkey. Oh, really? That hit me? Come on. No, I didn't want to use whetstone. Ow. Uh, his chip attacks do so much. Come on, I need to stun him. There we go, nice, got the stun off, okay. Come on, I went way too far on that, that's unfortunate, that's fine. Get some damage off while he's down. Hit his tail, no, I missed his tail completely. Alright, that's fine. Okay, I got extremely lucky there. Oh, actually, no, I'm Trepper Hut helped me. Darn it, I was hoping it would counter it, but... Unfortunately, I guess it dinked off his arm first. And the counter didn't go off. Which is annoying that that can happen, but oh well. Oh, nice. Knocked him out of afflicted state. Nice. Man, how much health does this guy have? He is really just tanking everything I got. Yeah, see, I'm like, this has had a normal 50 minute time limit on it, and it's already getting low in terms of time. So it's like, imagine do, trying to do this with like 30 minutes or something. That would be insane. Is that even possible? I feel like... I mean, I... 
I don't know how the developers would have tested of every possible combination of uh, monster and special investigation and uh, restriction would be possible because I feel like that'd be way too much work. So I just... I don't know, there's gotta be some kind of limitations on this system of randomized investigations. I just don't know what it is though. I don't know what's possible and what's not. Oh man. Okay, darn it, I missed that. Oh well. Man, how oh, you're not low yet, Rajang. It's crazy how much more health this guy has than the other three combined. That's just insane. Ow. Stop it. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, there we go. He's blue now. I was wondering when it was going to show up. Alright. So just a little bit more to go. Ow. Alright. Just gotta keep attacking. Come on, we're doing a good job here. I, mean, I think we got this in the bag. Unless he somehow cuts me super fast twice in a row, I think we should be fine. Honestly, I really shouldn't talk now because I'm going to jinx myself. I already know it. Alright, he's leaving though. I missed completely. No, get back here. Okay, I think he's going to go to sleep though, so that's good. Alright, he didn't know I was up there. That fool. Alright, can one of you Moba spare me uh, extract please? Preferably attack extract, and that way I do more damage with my wake up hit. Can you please stop flying around you stupid dumb things? There we go. Alright, let's grab that. Oof. Actually, don't I have... I do have a Norberry. So I will eat that before my frenzy goes bad, because that would be bad. <laughs> so unfortunately, uh... I'm not going to risk it and try to build up my Diving Wyvern on the Remoba since that's way too risky. So let's just do that. That is much more uh, consistent. I don't have to worry about messing it up. Because I know I would definitely mess it up. Because I messed that up a lot. Oh man, I have a Water Beetle. Let's use that. Uh, where did he go? What is he doing? Is he attacking that Remoba? I think he's attacking the Remoba. I mean, honestly, I hate those guys too, Rajang. <laughs> I understand why you attack them. Come on. I kind of forgot how much the wake up hit did. I didn't really pay attention, but I think it was like 1300 or something like that. Oh, he's dead. Nice. All right. Well, that was definitely insane. That was a nuts quest. Having four monsters is definitely insane. It mostly is just like the afflicted monster that's the big threat and the other three are just to chip away at your healing. That definitely seems to be like what makes it really difficult but that that's still insane. But imagine that with like way harder monsters like Risen Elder Dragon, Apex Monster, Primordial and something else even harder. I can't imagine doing that. Oh my goodness look at all the rewards holy cow. Oh, dude, that one investigation got me up to MR 998, holy cow. Alright, well then, that was definitely a fun investigation. I don't think I got any new ones, because I don't think special investigations give you- Yeah, special investigations don't give you normal investigations, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't know why they did that, I feel like it would have been cool if they made us a special investigation gave you regular investigations. And maybe like they made it so- Oh my god, look at this one. <laughs> That's insane. It's only, it's only 295 though, so I can't get up to special investigation before getting an, uh, 999, but yeah. But I feel like it should give you, uh, maybe like always level 300 investigations. Like since this is an A6 one, getting a A9 quest from that one would be reduced because it's a lower level. So it would be like 290... 290, 285 maybe, something like that, but maybe if it were, if you did the special investigation, it should always give you level 300 investigations, even if they're A9s or above. But yeah, I feel like that would be cool, but oh well. But yeah, that was definitely a crazy investigation. I'm definitely going to try and get an a, uh, even crazier one. I'm also MHON 998, which is insane, and it's how much, how much Master Rank points it gave me. But uh, 
So something I've been doing, by the way, is I turned off auto saving and I'm now what I usually do is I quit without saving. And what that does is that resets my MR to before I did that quest. So yeah, now I'm back to 994, which is... Dude, that one investigation gave me four master rank levels. That's insane, dude. That is absolutely nuts. Oh man, so yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get see if I can get an even crazy investigation like the one I mentioned in this video, but I don't know. I'll see. I just have to kind of wait and see what's possible, but yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video and I will see you in the next one with potentially even a crazier investigation. We'll see, I'll see what I can do, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.